Welcome to CodeNet. This is a quick overview video of how to use CodeNet. First of all, we can uh, hover our mouse to the left to open the sidebar. Or we can press Ctrl Shift plus A to open the command palette, which we can use to access commands by typing the name of the command. So for example, we want to create a new project. Let's type that new, then press enter. So press this uh, uh, this path button. It will show us a fi file dialog which we can uh, uh, choose to where to save the file. So let's say test one at the end. The title is test, and then the author is uh, whatever you want to create new project. So this is the node interface. You can use the middle mouse button to pan around the view. As you can see, and press right click to open the nodes interface menu where you can choose what uh, what kind of node to use. So first of all, let's create a variable node. Let's uh, input the variable name which is A, then the value, the data type it is integer and then you can say 32. And then let's create another one. Then another 32. And let's create a third one. Let's call this C and then integer of 0. For example, we want to set the value of C to be the value from A. So we can do is we connect that. And as you can see, C. Uh, C's value from 0 becomes 32, and if we, uh, we can do that. So we, you can connect uh, nodes with the same kind of data type. Data type is the slot here, the integer. So for example, we want to do a basic program. You can practice using the assessment. You can uh, press Control shift a to open the Assessments menu, or you can go here and click the assessments. So let's try the ask user for name. So let's open that. So here's the instruction. First we need to prompt the user for input for their answer. And then the next one is print a greeting plus their name. So that is the instruction. And this is the expected output. So to get input from the user we need to use the action node and type Prompt. So prompt is using uh, is used for getting the uh, user input. So let's say string and then the prompt is what is your name? And question mark and then space. So the fake input is uh, as an example input you can use during this virtual code because uh, since prompt is is getting user input on runtime we actually don't know what the user are go is going to input so fake input is for us to test and then next is we want to prompt so after getting the user input we need to store that in a variable so let's name that uh, first name and then the data type is string and then string value uh, we don't need anything because we're going to get the user input. So if we connect this, we, uh, we will see that the value of the first name variable becomes the fake input. So next, uh, as you can notice, we have an exclamation mark here. So let's create an exclamation mark, the variable. So exclamation, that is a string, then put in an exclamation. Then we want to add those two together. So operation add and then the type is the string so first the name let's connect that the next is the exclamation As you can see there is a, a red a red connection line here uh, that means this is a warning so if we open the terminal by hitting control shift plus t you can see there is a warning and as you can see, it has node operation need at least two input. So if we uh, press this find button, 
will jump the camera to that uh, to the faulty nodes position and as you can see it's uh, it's giving us a lighting if you want to view more information about the warning you can go here the view more info in the docs as you can see here's the explanation the example and the key points and then if you go back uh, there's a bunch of other topics which uh, you can read let's close the terminal for now So let's continue making our basic program. So let's append that. Then let's store the result to another variable called greeting. Okay. Then we connect that. Then finally, since we have the first name and with exclamation mark, finally we want to print that. So to print that, we go to action node and then print. The input type is string and the output type is uh, whatever. I can put string. Say hello there, comma, uh, space, and then let's append. Meaning, uh, we want to uh, put the input string, which is uh, which is this one, after the output string. As you can see the result is here. So let's save that. Let's open the terminal. Control Shift T. -E. So you can see if we compile that, you can view the uh, transpiled C code here. So this is the C code. And then if we run that, uh, and go to the command prompt, uh, it's asking us for what is our name. Say Brandon, then enter, then say hello there Brandon exclamation mark, and then press enter to exit, so enter again. So don't close this because if you close this, this will also close the program. So as you can see here, uh, we finish running the program. And if we do this assessment and then we submit the assessment, we can see that the result is 2 out of 2, meaning we uh, our, ex our submitted output matches the expected output. So for example, what if we remove this string? Or we change this string into you can right click and and edit in a node so let's say we put the exclamation mark edit and then clear again and then let's compile again then we run the program the new program so let's turn in a brand and then again and then let's submit the output so you can see the score is one out of two and see the difference will tell us line by line what is the uh, wrong output so here this is the submitted column this is the expected uh, expected column and then the submitted column uh, the submitted line has two exclamation mark while the expected only has one so that is the problem so there you go this is the basic uh, overview of how to use code neck so as you can try more do, doing more assessments and you have a other kind of node like getting the uh, the root of a number, uh, raise the power to by an exponent, get the sign to assign tangent of a value, uh, string method convert to lowercase to uppercase, uh, reverse the string, turn that into an array. So we have the most basic data structure, which is array, and we have the ax. Uh, for the array uh, access and size and then the loop we have the for loop then for the branch